Should your first country of entry be the country that granted your Schengen visa? I get this question a lot. Like now, there are about 26 countries that form part of the Schengen area. Now, it means that if you um, get a visa to one country that is part of this area, you can actually use that visa and travel through 26 other countries. Now, now you know why Schengen visa is one, you know, I think they're one of the difficult ones. If you apply to one country, then you can travel through other countries. Now we all know the list. If you don't know the list, it's available online, but I can just list it out for you. Maybe the ones that easily come to mind. France is one of it. Italy is part of it. Portugal, Spain, um, um, the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, um, Greece. Uh, there are 26 of them. So it means that if you get a visa to visit one if you get a visa to one of these countries, if I apply to France, I can visit Italy based on that um, visa that I have obtained and other countries, 25 other countries other than the country that I have applied to. Now, if you want um, details, if you want to know how you can successfully apply for a Schengen visa, I'm going to share a link to the video. So check the description box and then you will find everything that you need to know. I broke it down. As in step by step guide so you do want to watch that video because it is very useful you know you got a visa from the French Embassy but you are going to Greece so you want to find out if I get a visa from French Embassy can the first place that I land be Greece do I must I go to um, France to be able to connect Greece the answer is no yes I know in the past it was um, you know it was that was the you know <laughs> that was how it works that was you know the standard but it doesn't have to be the case anymore if i obtain a schengen visa for, from spain i can actually land in france because normally they always encourage you to apply to your main destination wherever you're going to but we also understand that you might have a multiple entry visa of which maybe the first time let's say i got my visa from france and then it's multiple entry the first time i went to france second time i'm going to greece and then I do have a Schengen visa. Do I have to go to um, um, France before I go to Greece? The answer is no. You can actually land in Greece with my Schengen visa from France. So definitely if you're applying for the visa, you just have to show an itinerary that says you are going to that country. But if I'm, let's say I'm going to Greece and then I'm going to apply to France, that I'm going to Greece. France is going to ask you, okay, if you're going to Greece, why don't you go, you know, to the Greek embassy? They won't give it to you, you know. So you would need to show them that, yes, I'm, even though I'm going to Greece, I am going to spend a few days in France. That is why I'm applying to France, because there's a direct flight from where I live to France. Now, that, that's a very good reason. But So now let's say you have obtained the visa already, and now you're now thinking, okay, now I have the visa. Do I have to go to France? <laughs> well, you know, you don't have to go to France, really. That's what it is. But it, it's always good for, just for good relationship, you know, purpose. If you're going back to apply for a visa to, uh, to that same um, country, they would take into consideration your past activities in the Schengen area. So if you got a visa that you said you were going to France and then there's no record that you actually went to France, yes, you might say, oh, they might never not know. Well, good luck. But I always just feel, you know, just for good um, relationship purpose, touch base in that country, even if it's just for a few days. I know I say, I know I say you don't have to do it, but if you know that you will need them in future, I just realized that most times once people get what they want, they think, okay, they are done. You know, they just run and go. You forget that you're going to come back for a renewal, especially with this, uh, all these embassies that probably only give you maybe like <laughs> very short term visas. Now, you do want to touch base. In fact, even if it's just for a few days, your first point of entry does not have to be the country that granted your visa. But just because you know you might need them again in future, you do want to touch base with the country that um, um, granted the visa to you, at least for the life of that visa. Now, I'm not saying that it must be on that trip because you might just be going to somewhere else. I have a French um, visa. I am going to Greece. 
we just have maybe it's an emergency that happened i'm going to greece I, it, it might not be comfortable convenient for me to do greece and then do you know maybe like you know france at the same time but for the life of that visa i would like to touch base in france just so that next time when i go to them they would um you know consider I me mean, i know these people can really frustrate you they can they can tell you no and not you know not even give you any reason that makes sense to you <laughs> so just for good relationship purpose i would say touch base in the country that issued your visa but are you required you know it's um the answer is you know not necessarily so i hope that was helpful so now don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to hit the like button if this was helpful and then um, don't forget to watch the video if you want to know how to obtain a schengen visa it's very useful i'll include the link have a nice day bye